Thank you for coming here today. And on time two, which is a bit surprising given the topic. This is my actual doctoral dissertation. This is the front page from it. I literally have a doctorate in procrastination. I can guarantee you an extra two months of productivity each year. And I can do it in 10 minutes. So who would like $1,000? Uh, would you like it in Canadian or US? Canadian. Now, how many of you are going to experience more motivation by show of hands just before that deadline? So everybody. Chiseled into Egyptian hieroglyphs are warnings against procrastination. Today, the only difference is that we do it a lot more. Fortunately, we have a wealth of knowledge about how to handle it. Dear Steele's presentation made me realize that I'm not the only procrastinator in the world. The satirist Peter Benchley, he said, anyone can do any amount of work except the work they're supposed to be doing. I struggle with procrastination on a daily basis, but he made me realize that 95% of the population procrastinate, and I only have to be marginally better than the average Jane to be much more successful and effective. So that really motivates me on a daily basis to get out there and get things done. The reason why we're like this, we can feel you when you're torn between choices, or you want to do one thing yet you don't. The reason why is because these two kind of decision-making systems are operating in parallel and fighting for control. We have a prefrontal cortex where we make long-term plans, an Olympic system which is responsible for the short-term impulses. Often, our long-term plans are overridden by this limbic system. Consequently, it's something we all experience. Pierce Steele's presentation helped my personal productivity by making me realize that my impulsive behavior to go for the quick fix was based on my biology, my limbic system. If you can understand why you do something, then you've got a much better chance, I think, of changing that behavior should you choose to do so. Pierce used a great quote by Mark Twain where he said that the secret to success is getting started and the secret to getting started is taking the first step. Uh, when I approach my work, I try to break things into small, manageable tasks and get started on the first step. Now, this is not the only thing going on in your life. You know, I gave you a task, but you do have other things, other pressing matters. But let's say they're not as important, so we'll call them temptations. The session really prompted me to look at my own work patterns and how I allocate energy so that I understand uh, when my energy levels are high and when I can accomplish my best work. The more leaders understand how to motivate employees and work around uh, factors that lead to procrastination, the more we can ultimately accomplish our, our objectives. I can't promise I'm going to eliminate your procrastination completely, but I can promise I'm going to reduce it a lot and sometimes it's all you really need to be successful. If I can understand why I procrastinate in certain tasks, hopefully I can then change that behavior. So Enbridge has a long-standing relationship with the Haskins School of Business, and we were proud to see that procrastination and motivation received a 100% rating of participants being extremely satisfied with the program. My technique is high energy, it's interactive, you're going to be doing things, it's not just going to all be me talking, you're going to learn a lot about how to actually apply it in your own life. We all put things off, sometimes to the point we start to suffer for it. Good news is there are things that you can do about it, scientifically proven things, and we'd like to introduce them to you. <laughs>